What up guys, how's everyone doing? Sorry it's been a while since I've done an actual video. I've been working on something and it was almost done and had a technical difficulty. Anyways, get right into it with the intro video. Alright, so basically... I get most of my views from doing videos on Alchemy Pay, I've noticed, so I'm going to go ahead and get into some technical analysis and I uh, wouldn't really say fun facts, but just a little information about Alchemy Pay. Um, it's kind of up right now again by 11% to 11 cent, which is a great thing for those that have just gotten into investing in coin in the past month i personally do hold some um, so you can see it's been pretty green pretty steady um, we had a pump within the last 30 days and it's kind of been sliding down since then and then going back up it's also bringing lots and lots of new followers as you can see there's no analysis on a uh, coin market cap for this um, there are some price estimations. Um, I say this because, uh, as you can see, I put some price estimations <laughs> in probably way overshot. I wasn't really being serious about any of those. Then, you know, you got it on trading view. Trading view and its technicals definitely says it's a buy. And then you can see, um somebody's Fibonacci regression all these things so there's there's people getting into it uh 30 days ago there's probably maybe one graph post from you know another creator or you know someone that's in the finances speaking of finances this is not financial advice do your own research please all right anyways we're gonna get take you into my charts we're gonna get into my charts so this is ACHUSDT, the daily chart, which really doesn't tell us a, a lot. I have an indicator here that lets me know that a bunch of people sold, a bunch of bears sold, a bearish move happened here. Um, um, you know, we were going down, 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 and then tried to push it further down, and uh, now we're going up. Like I said, this chart doesn't really tell us much. I mean... We could find what the common trend is here, whether that be downtrend or an uptrend. Hit you with a nice little triangle. Adjust it here. Yeah, and really honestly, as you can see, it looks not really upish, not really down, but. If you can actually look further into the angle, you really don't have to go into using the Fibonacci and, and levels. You could if you wanted to. But when you zoom in here, it's a little more downward than upward. But I mean, we're coming down from two price pumps. Go ahead and get into the four hour chart here. And then uh, you can actually see some of my cloud here. And, um,. You know, when you see this green on top here with the way that I have it set up, you know, we're usually increasing in profit or having more people come in and buy. When the red starts coming on top and the green is going below, we're kind of starting to sell off I again. See, and you might see this chart goes against it, but it really doesn't. You can also see these uh, yellow and gray line here. Um, positive sign, like, um, we're definitely getting ready to transition into a, a strong up tick here soon. Even though the red's on top here and the green's on the bottom of the crossover, you know, that's, that's pretty much a signal for me that the bears are really trying to push the price down. But if you look at this yellow line here, it's over the gray, which means we're having pretty much... Um, hodlers uh, buy the dips and really support support mm -hmm. this. You see this gray line over the yellow line in my cloud here. Um, 
that's not a good sign. It's a sign that we're losing support. So you can kind of say that this yellow line here are the uh, bulls and the gray lines, the bears. But you know, you'll see moments where there's some crossing of these streams. A very good sign um, on my chart here is when this yellow and gray line are above the cloud, which we're getting ready to cross that cloud now. And you got the 30 minute chart. We're pumping today and a little bit last night. Um, all these green hearts, you know, positive uh, candlesticks. I like to have the indicator there because if I'm actually watching on a minute chart, um, I can see from across the room what kind of candlestick it is because if it's going in a positive way, it'll flash this green cart. Green cart. <laughs> If it's going in a positive way, it'll flash this green heart. It's something that I modified in with code to um, my cloud. As you can see, we're definitely like some sideways action after the recent little pump here. It's kind of like a double pump. But the more space we get between these two right here, between this green and this red line, when the green is on top, the better, the stronger of a run. See, which we're definitely on an upwards run on this 30 minute chart. So, um, and you know, bears are here. Like I said, there's strong bear presence trying to push it down, but they are not winning. So I definitely would expect after not too long of a time period here, um, I think we're going to end up hitting that high of 15 cents um, in the next week or two. I definitely say I'm mid September. We should be hitting somewhere between 15 and 19 cents. Um, I definitely think we're going to start hitting higher highs with this. Um, a lot of people aren't too much in support of ACH over AMP because of privacy features, but, um, I truly believe, even though I'm a supporter of decentralized money and, um, uh, blockchains and everything, uh, I truly believe, though, nothing is private, so... When it comes to privacy features and being an American, it's not something I really look into because usually when a company tells you that your information is private or there's privacy features, we find out that that's not true. Um, so some more info about ACH. Zoom in a little here. A little bit of a small screen for me. Alright, so... For you guys that don't read the down below, uh, Alchemy Pay is the pioneer of the world's first payment gateway solution to bridge the gap between fiat and crypto. So it's supposed to be kind of like a payment system that makes it easy to switch between different fiats and different cryptocurrencies. And um, the reason why it's been going up lately is, you know, an addition to make it easier to purchase on Coinbase, but also uh different companies are creating contracts with them and different countries are beginning to have access to them it is under ethereum contract which means it's on the ethereum chain um like i said i definitely think we're gonna see another 2x in this stock it does have a max supply of 10 billion I think that's 10 billion, 10 billion coins. Um, circulating supply is 31% and it's moved up to number 233 on the watch list. But um, it's definitely something I'm holding and taking profits as it pumps and dumps because altcoins are hot right now.